The landing gear system provides the ground support to the airplane for taxi, takeoff, and landing. There are many types of landing gear systems, with the most common landing gear systems utilizing wheels. Some airplanes do not have wheels? What? No wheels? Yes, some airplanes are designed to operate in water, and those airplanes are equipped with floats. As previously discussed, airplanes can either contain conventional or tricycle landing gear systems. Airplanes equipped with conventional gear systems are controlled on the ground through the use of differential braking. If a pilot wants to turn left, they step on the left brake, which slows down the left wheel, thereby rotating the plane. With tricycle landing gear systems like those on the 172, as the pilot pushes on the rudder pedals, the nose wheel rotates, allowing the pilot to steer the airplane. Differential braking can also be used on tricycle gear systems to aid the pilot in making tighter turns. An airplane's landing gear system is also classified in two other categories, fixed or retractable. A fixed landing gear system is one in which the landing gear is permanently extended. Most primary training airplanes like the Cessna 172 are equipped with this system as they are simpler to use. There's no threat to forgetting to put the gear down for landing, and they are cheaper systems requiring very little maintenance. The wheels of a fixed landing gear system are connected to struts, which absorb the shock of landing and taxiing. Some general aviation airplanes, like the Piper Aero or Diamond DA-42, are equipped with a retractable landing gear system. After takeoff, the pilot moves a handle which electrically powers a hydraulic pump that allows the landing gear to rise into the body of the airplane. Prior to landing, the pilot moves the handle down, which again activates the pump, allowing the gear to come down and lock into position. The benefit of having a retractable landing gear system is that it increases performance by streamlining the airplane.